Zaka Fats YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make some hot honey chicken wings using an air fryer. Hello my darlings, let's dust off that air fryer. In a clean bowl, I'm just going in with my chicken wings. I've already washed it with some lime juice. So I'm gonna season with a little bit of oil, salt, oregano, garlic powder, all-purpose seasoning, all spice and some smoked paprika. Also had some of my green seasoning in the fridge. So I just put a little bit as well as some hot sauce and I'm gonna mix that in well and set it to one side to marinate for about 10 minutes. After about 10-15 minutes, I've got my air fryer basket. I'm gonna go ahead and just spray some oil in there. This is just some fry light and I'm just gonna go ahead and fry my wings into two batches. I'm gonna be air frying these on 180 degrees Celsius for about 12 minutes. Yes, my darlings, it all depends on the air fryer that you're using. I like to use between 180 to 200 degrees Celsius for about 12 to 15 minutes, nothing too long. Make sure you turn it halfway and yes, after about 8-9 minutes, this is how it's looking. These were nearly done i wanted a bit more color on both sides so i went ahead flipped it over gave it about five more minutes and it should look something like this Once my first set was done, I went in with the second set of wings and I did the same thing and this is my wings all done. I'm gonna go ahead and work on my hot honey sauce, starting with some chili sauce. This is my sriracha. Going in with some of that organic honey, that gorgeous honey from back home that my mother-in-law sent me. So fresh, so nice, the good stuff, right? Then I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of butter. You see the TK initials on the butter. <laughs> I'm gonna let it simmer on low heat for about maybe five minutes, three to five minutes, not too long on the lowest heat and then we're gonna go ahead and pour this over our gorgeous wings Once my sauce was ready, I went ahead and I just poured it over my wings. Oh my goodness, these look so good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a really good mix. Also, you can always just add a bit more sauce if you want to. You can always just make this to your own preference. A lot of sauce, a little sauce. Me, I just like to coat mine in the sauce because try to keep it kid friendly so that my boys can also have some. Go ahead and just plate it up because oh my goodness, I'm just gonna bring this to the dinner table and let the boys enjoy. I really hope you enjoy this quick hot honey chicken wings in the air fryer. It has been a pleasure having you here in my kitchen and I'll see you again in my next one. Saka Fats YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make the most delicious jerk chicken wings. Oh my darlings, it's so nice to have you back here in my kitchen. We're making some jerk chicken wings. Got my chicken wing, went in with a little oil, going in with a little sea salt and garlic. 
some black pepper you don't really need to put too much seasonings in that because the jerk seasoning already has everything i'm also putting in some mixed herbs which is a mixture of marjoram thyme parsley and basil you guys always come from my neck every time i put mixed herbs so this is what the mixed herbs is also putting some of my garlic and ginger paste so if you see any little threads in this it is not hair it's some threads all right going in with the best jerk seasoning my walkers with jerk seasoning in mild adding about i'd say about two to three heaping tablespoons i'm putting in some browning for color the browning helps to give it that really nice grilled look because we're making this in the oven so you want it to be as similar or as close to the real thing as in if it was on the grill outside in the hot sunshine yes my darling so i'm giving this a really good mix and i'm gonna let it marinate in my fridge for a couple of hours and then we're gonna push this in the oven After a few hours have gone by, I preheated my oven to 200 degrees Celsius. I'm oiling this baking dish and I'm gonna place my seasoned chicken wings in the dish, okay? Make sure you put as much as it can fit, but be careful not to overcrowd it because in reality, we don't want this to be soggy and wet. We want it to, you know, be very similar to that grilled jerk chicken if you were to do it outside. Once everything is on the tray, I'm gonna pop it into bake for about 40 minutes, okay? four zero just 40 minutes about 20 minutes on either side and this is all you will need into the oven we go for the first 20 minutes after 20 minutes it should start looking something like this gonna go ahead and baste it with the juices that's been released and yes my darlings it should start looking something like this it's not quite cooked as yet so baste it that will keep it nice and juicy and not dry and you want to flip it over on the other side so it can cook for about 20 minutes as well pop it back in and this will be all done After 40 minutes in total, this is how it looks. Guys, this looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, it's not too wet, it's not too soggy, it's not drowning in gravy, and this is what you want, okay? Since we can't light the grill because it's March, it's just the beginning of March, I'm gonna make jerk chicken in the oven. However, you can always make this recipe on the grill outside for maximum flavor. But yes, my darlings, I'm gonna garnish with some fresh parsley because we're all done. This is ready to serve, okay? This is ready to serve so i really hope you enjoy this quick jerk chicken wings recipe try it soon let me know if you like it
Cafets YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let's make some honey barbecue wings. So today we're making some honey barbecue wings. I do have a recipe for this on my channel already, but someone asked for me to update it and I decided to do just that. Make sure to check the ingredient list down below in the description box. And yes, my darlings, we're jumping straight into this video. But yes, today is also my birthday. I'm turning 26 and i just thought i would share that with you guys i tend to keep everything about me so private and keep it all about the cooking but you know it's my birthday so happy birthday to me <laughs> so grateful to see another year and this year has just been so amazing you guys know i had a baby and all that good good stuff but yeah enough about me once my chicken wings was nicely marinated for about 15 minutes, I went in with some cornstarch and that will just help to keep the chicken nice and crispy. If you don't have cornstarch, you can always just use a little bit of flour, but it's entirely up to you if you use any at all, okay? I'm gonna coat it well in the cornstarch and then I'm gonna be using my mini fryer that I got from Aldi and just fry it up in two batches, okay? So in goes my second batch. I tend to give my chicken wings about 8 to 10 minutes of frying time simply because it's chicken wings and it cooks so much quicker because you know it doesn't really have that much meat whereas if you was frying probably drumsticks or thighs it will probably take a little bit longer okay. So I make sure to fry this until it's nice and golden brown, drain off any excess oil and then we're going to get started on our sauce. However, if you don't want to make a sauce, you can have that as is. But yes, we're going in with some sweet baby rays barbecue sauce, some tomato ketchup, and some honey. And sure to keep your heat on sort of like a low to medium. And you just want to let the sauce cook for about three minutes and stir it up. It will thicken up and everything because at the moment it's quite runny. Just stir it up till it starts to thicken before you go in and add in your chicken wings. So in goes my chicken wings. I'm going to make sure to mix it well and coat it in that beautiful honey barbecue sauce. I also preheated my oven to 180 degrees because I'm going to be pushing the chicken wings in there for about 10 minutes so that the sauce can stick on there and get this nice and sticky. It's not something that you have to do. It's just something that I find to give the wings, you know, a little extra something and I really like doing that. So after it's all coated, I'm just gonna go ahead and push it into the oven for about 10 minutes and it will be all ready. So into the oven we go for about 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes was up, I did garnish with a bit of fresh parsley. And there you have it my loves, all done. Saka Fets YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I'm back with a new recipe and this one is for tamarind, ginger and honey chicken wings. Hello my darlings, I really hope you've been enjoying this week's content. 
Let's get straight to the video. I'm starting by adding some olive oil and garlic powder to my clean chicken wings, followed by some thyme. The measurements will be down below in the description box, so make sure to check it out. I'm going in with some salt and black pepper as well. Make sure you put enough to your own preference, okay? I also have some all-purpose seasoning that I will be adding to these chicken wings, followed by my homemade seasoning blend. And the recipe for this is definitely coming in a few days, so make sure you check it out. I'm going to make sure to mix this very well. I'm using some gloves because I don't really like the smell of the chicken and the seasonings and everything to go beneath my nails, but not because I am trying to be extra clean or anything like that. I'm cooking for my family and I think hand washing works perfectly fine, okay? I'm going to cover this with some clear up and then I'm going to let it rest for about two hours just because I've got some extra time today. Once my chicken was nicely rested, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the clear up. Bear in mind, you don't have to let it marinate, but if you have some extra time, it will really help for the flavors to absorb into the chicken, okay? And you can use any chicken of choice to make this, like thighs or drumsticks. It's just that I find that wings work so, so well with some of these easy recipes because wings are just perfect for snacking. I went in with some cornstarch. You can use corn flour or you can use some plain flour if you want, but cornstarch or potato starch will work best and I'm just mixing it in with the chicken. This will help my chicken wings to remain nice and crispy once I fry it up. And then here is my oil. I allow that to heat up for about three, four minutes before going in with my chicken wings. I'm gonna be frying these for about three to four minutes on both sides on about a medium heat. And once it's all cooked, we're gonna remove it and place it on a wire rack. So just enjoy the music. Guys, as you can see, this is the first batch done. I'm just going to go ahead and do the second batch. It's pretty much the same thing. And one thing you need to remember is when you're frying the chicken wings, try not to overcrowd the pot too much. So what I did, I just divided it into two parts. That way, my pot is not overcrowded and my temperature for my oil is not dropping too much because the pan is too full, okay? I'm going to follow the same steps like I did for the first one. And then once everything is all fried, we're going to go ahead on to the part two, okay? Which is probably my favorite part but for now i'm just showing you how i fry some chicken it just looks so so therapeutic like it just looks really good <laughs> So these are all of my chicken wings nicely fried guys these were so crispy and as always I never want to finish the recipe because halfway through it's just too good to eat. 
So now I'm going in with some tamarind and ginger juice followed by some honey and I'm gonna be letting that simmer on low heat for about 3-4 minutes because we want this to thicken up slightly before we go in with our fried chicken pieces. Now in case you haven't seen, I do have a tamarind and ginger juice on my channel. All I did was just use about a cup of that and I made this beautiful glaze for the chicken. I also went in with some fresh parsley. You can use some powdered one if you want. I really like the little green specks that it gives the chicken once it's all cooked. And yes, my darlings, I'm just transferring all of our fried chicken pieces to the pot, making sure to turn it on both sides so that the glaze covers both sides. And I just let it simmer in the sauce for no more than a minute. And listen, this was everything as you find the flavor and the glaze and everything went into the chicken. Oh my goodness, this one is definitely one of the recipes you need to try this summer if you're trying to impress a few guests. Guys, this one is definitely a winner. But yes, my darlings, this is it. The recipe is nearly done. All I need to do is just to serve this up and plate it up because it is ready. So, so good. There you have it, my loves, all done. Back up at YouTube and let us make this gorgeous air fryer chicken wings. Hello my loves. Oh my goodness. It's so nice to be making this recipe today. Today we're making some air fryer chicken wings. I'm so excited. The first thing I'm doing, I am just cutting my chicken wings into two pieces. If you want, you can leave it whole, but I prefer it when it's like that because I prefer flat pieces and my boy liked drums. So for some reason, I thought it would be better this way. I'm just transferring it to a bowl, going in with some lemon juice, and I'm also gonna put some white vinegar in there as well, because we need to wash it, okay? Washing is very important. Anytime I'm making any of my chicken or meat recipes, I need to wash it, okay? And guys, if you look at the water, you'll see all the excess feathers. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so yes, once it was nicely washed, I just transferred it to a baking dish because this is what we will be seasoning the chicken wings in, okay? Before I season it, I will go ahead and pat it dry with um, some paper towels just to get rid of all of the excess moisture from the chicken because I find that when it's nice and dry, it tends to hold the seasoning so much better. So I'm just using two paper towels and getting rid of as much of that moisture as possible. Very important. I'm now going in with my trusty virgin olive oil and I'm gonna put a little bit on here. You can use vegetable oil or whatever you prefer. I'm also going in with some salt and some garlic powder as well as some aromat seasoning. If you don't have that, use some all-purpose seasoning, but I really, really love the flavor it gives to my chicken whenever I'm making them. So yes, I'm also adding in some black pepper, of course, followed by some parsley flakes because that just makes it look so pretty. I'm now going in with some smoked paprika. The flavor from this is absolutely amazing and plus it gives it that nice color as well. I'm gonna add some corn flour as my last ingredient and then it's gonna be time to mix it up. Make sure to mix it well. The corn flour just helps to keep it nice and crispy. So this is why I'm using it. Once 
Once my chicken was nicely seasoned and nicely mixed in, I let it rest for about half an hour in my fridge and then it was time to fry it up. So guys, I've got my air fryer. I actually just got this one from Aldi a few days ago. This is not sponsored in any way, but I just wanted to show you guys the air fryer that I'm using. I bought it over the weekend and I'm so excited to be part of the air fryer gang. My chicken wings have been resting for the past half an hour and it's time for us to get down to business. Now for this air fryer, it's actually not that big, so I can only fit a few pieces of wings in at a time, but that is absolutely fine because I can always just fry it in about two, three batches, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just place those gorgeous wings in here like so. I'm probably aiming for about probably two, three batches as I mentioned, okay? And uh, yes, my loves. So I'm gonna place them in here, trying my best not to stick them up too much, okay? Just try to get a few of them in there, okay? Probably fit one more, okay? So this should do, because you don't really want to crowd it up too much we're going to go ahead and push it in. So I'm gonna be putting that in on 180 degrees for about 20 minutes and this should be done. I will actually turn it halfway and show you guys. So let's do this. So guys, it's been about 10 minutes and I just wanna show you how amazing the wings are looking. I actually need to flip it over, okay, because you want it to cook on all sides. Yes, my darlings, this is looking amazing. Okay, so we're just going to flip it over because you want this to be nice and crispy on both sides. And because we use that corn flour, you know it is going to be amazing. Push it back in for 10 more minutes and this set will be done. So guys, my chicken wings have been in the air fryer for the past 20 minutes, okay? And it's time to be removed. Look at how crispy they look. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna transfer it to a clean plate, okay? And guys, like I said, we're gonna be frying this in batches. So yes, I'm so excited to do the remaining batches. Look at that, oh my God. That looks so amazing. I think this is enough for like one serving. Like I could literally eat this in one go. So amazing. I'm gonna set it to one side and then we're going to fill up the air fryer again for the second batch. I'm gonna push it back in and we're just gonna go the same temperature again, 180 degrees for 20 minutes, turning halfway on each side. Hey guys look at that that looks so amazing it's been going for about 10 minutes now and as you know we need to flip it over listen the only thing I don't really like too much about the air fryer is that it doesn't take that much so you have to literally do it in smaller batches but I think you know you can't really have all you know you can't really have it all isn't it <laughs> so it's fine so I'm gonna flip it over and I had no use for any oil at all, nothing. Like, this is amazing. And these are the ones that are already done. Oh my God, it's so good. So we're gonna push it back in 10 more minutes and it will be done. There you have it, all of my wings are nicely cooked. I actually just pushed all of them back in for about 30 seconds to a minute just so that all of them could be nice and hot because as you know, I did fry them in three batches. But yes, my loves, I can't believe the results. So delicious, so crispy, nice and healthy, no need for all that extra oil from deep frying. Oh my goodness.
Sacafet YouTube and let us make this gorgeous sweet chili jerk chicken wings. You know I need to give you a bit of an ingredient breakdown. This recipe is my boy's favorite one for Friday night. So here it goes. You're going to need a bit of thyme, some aromat or all-purpose seasoning, some pink salt, some black pepper. I'm using my Walker's Wood Jerk seasoning in mild some browning for color, some sweet chili sauce, of course, and let's not forget our chicken wings. So as always, I like to drizzle a little bit of olive oil before going in with the various seasonings, and I will be putting a generous amount on each of them, okay? Now, the description box will have all of the ingredient lists and the amount, but remember, this only acts as a guide on how much to put. You can always put as little or as much as you like of everything, okay? So once all my seasonings are in, I drizzled a little bit of browning and some sweet chili sauce on there like so. And then we're going to mix it up. This is my favorite part. I just love when the seasoning just coats onto the chicken because we don't have no unseasoned chicken around here, okay? Seasoned to perfection. <laughs> So once the chicken was seasoned, I'm just going in with some clear up and I'm going to be popping it into my fridge for about half an hour. Bear in mind, it was Friday. I didn't want to make dinner too late, so I only gave it half an hour. If you have lots of time and you want to bake this the following day, definitely leave it overnight. The flavors will be even better. Okay. Once the half an hour was up, I just went ahead and removed the clear up on the top. And here I have this fry light spray that I'm just gonna spray onto this baking dish. I actually got it from Baggins and more for about $5.99 about a year ago, and I absolutely love it. So now I'm just placing the wings on there, making sure that they're not overlapping, because that will really help for it to remain nice and crispy. You don't want it to get soggy. Although it's on a rack, you just don't want to overlap it, okay? I also forgot to add that I did preheat my oven the minute I started putting my wings onto the tray and it has been preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. That is the temperature that I will be baking it at also. And this literally takes about 40 to 45 minutes. You don't want to bake it for too long and then the wings become dry. Because bear in mind, chicken wings doesn't take that long to cook. Once it was all in the tray, I just went ahead and pushed it into the oven for about 20 minutes. And after the 20 minutes, it's time to flip it over because you want it to cook on both sides. I'm now using my turkey baster and I'm just basting the chicken wings so that they don't dry out and you can use a spoon or you can get this turkey baster from Poundland or online wherever. I have it for about two years now, really like it. Just use a spoon if you don't have one and just pour those juices from the chicken back onto it, okay? That will just help for it to remain nice and juicy and not dry. So I've gone ahead and pushed the chicken back in for about 15 minutes and after about 15 minutes it was all done. So I'm just transferring it to a bowl, okay? Now for the sauce it's pretty simple. I just used some sweet chili flakes with some sweet chili sauce and brown sugar, mixed it well and just poured it in here. That was all I had to do. Very simple, very easy, anyone can do it. 
Now I give it a good toss, make sure I tossed it in for about a good 30 seconds to a minute. And then I just went in with a little bit of parsley flakes just because I think it's gonna help it look so pretty. Gave it a good toss again and then that was it really. I went ahead and just placed it onto that same baking dish that we used earlier. And then I'm gonna be baking it for about five minutes just so that the sauce can stick onto the wings. And that is it guys, this is literally all you need to do. I also brushed in all of the leftover sauce from the bowl and guys this is not even finally done and it's looking so amazing. Look at the glaze, so so gorgeous. So I've just pushed it back into the oven five minutes and that was it. All done. You find that the sauce has really stuck onto the wings. Nice and sticky, it's everything. Zakafet YouTube and let us make some honey barbecue wings. So in my bowl I have about one kilogram of chicken wings. I already cleaned it with some lime juice and cool water, got rid of any feathers, any excess slime. I just cleaned it very very well. Now for seasonings you're going to need your sea salt, black pepper, some paprika, some ginger, some allspice, garlic powder you're also gonna need some hennessy because this is henny barbecue wings some barbecue sauce and some dark soy sauce so i'm adding just a little bit of salt onto my chicken wings now be very mindful the seasonings list will be down below in the description box some black pepper as well some paprika, some ginger, some allspice, and some garlic powder. I'm adding just a little drop of oil on here just so I can mix the chicken very well. Okay, that looks very beautiful. Set it to one side for about half an hour and we're gonna just work on our batter. So to a clean bowl, I'm adding some corn flour and this is gonna get my wings nice and crispy. This is the corn flour that I'm using. You can get it from Little here in the UK and I'm just going to season it lightly. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of allspice in here. some garlic, a little paprika as well, and a little ginger. Okay, and then you just wanna add your nicely seasoned wings in here, okay? I'm only adding a few at a time, and you just want to make sure to dust it very well and just set it on a plate because we're gonna fry it straight away, okay? I just wanna get a good amount of them in. Guys, this is going to be so flavorful. Make sure to dust it off, beautiful. have a sufficient amount I'm gonna go ahead and fry these 
I am going to be using my wok and my beautiful wok is from Wilco here in the UK not sponsored and just add in your wings like so. Now I don't put a lot of them in there because you don't want to overcrowd the pan so I'm going to be frying this in about two to three batches okay. So after about 3-4 minutes, I'm just going to flip it over and ensure that it's cooked fully on both sides, okay? And guys, you can see how crispy it's looking already. Look at that. The corn flour just gives it that nice, crisp, absolutely gorgeous. So guys, this is it all done. Look at my gorgeous wings, nicely fried. They look amazing. Guys, this is nice and crispy. Can you hear the crisp? Guys, it's so crispy. Oh, the cornstarch in this, absolutely gorgeous. So set that to one side while we work on our sauce. So I have my wok and now I'm just gonna go in with my barbecue sauce, okay? sauce yeah. a little drop of honey in here mix it up I'm gonna put in my honey Okay, so I've just put all of this in, okay? You want to stir it up until it starts to simmer. Okay, and now we just want to go in with our wings. Just want to mix it up 
Mix it, mix it, mix it. Guys, look at that. Look at this. Just mix it in the sauce. Now that looks so good. Okay, just wanna put it in that gorgeous sauce. and this smells so good this is smelling so so good listen look at this my darlings that looks so so good So there you have it my darlings my delicious honey barbecue wings is all done Guys, this is one of the recipes that you pull out of the bag when you want to turn up with your girls, turn up with your men. Honey, this is the recipe for you. I hope you enjoy it. If you try it at all, tag me on Instagram at Terrian's Kitchen, of course. It's a pleasure having you here and I will see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.